Hey everybody, it's Robin, and I am going to make tonight a little basket. Uh, I took some of the people up at the bank. Uh, I always go up and visit with the ladies and show them my newest projects and this and that. You know, I've said we live in a small town. So I decided I we went to an apple orchard on Saturday to buy this new apple that's out. It's called the Zester Apple. So I bought enough to take every one of them that work up there, which is only seven, um, an apple. So I'm going to show you how I made it. I used my gypsy. Oops. And I cut with Doodle Charm this apple on page 118. And you don't really need your gypsy for this, but I just, it lays right here all the time. So I cut my apple at two and a half inches. And on the that's what I used on the guys. And on the ladies, I used uh, Tim Holtz um, Tattered Floral and made flowers for the gals. So I'm going to do one side in the girls, one side in the guys to show you how I did it. And I took some measurements off of Martha's box measurements and tweaked them to my what I wanted and needed for my apple and a couple pieces of caramel to fit in it. So I wanted this square in the middle to be three and a half. So I cut it at nine and a half and I scored it at three. Let's see if I can do this. I've never done this reaching around here. And then I scored it at six and a half. And of course I turned it and scored it at three again. And six and a half again. And then I used my scissors to cut up to the line. Now this isn't the one I'm going to use, so if I'm not perfect, it's okay. So then you cut the one on the opposite side. And then over here. And you want to make sure you have them going the right way, because if you cut this side and then you cut here, it's messed up. So... It looks like kind of a tic-tac-toe box, I'll call it, okay? So, move my craft, my uh, thing out of the way, whatever you call it. And then I didn't use really wide, I only use eighth of an inch because I'm out of the quarter of inch. Since this is just for demonstration purposes, you'll want to use a quarter of an inch um, sticky strip or this tear strip. I can't remember what you call it. So the middle ones, these middle flaps, you want to put it on the inside. So when it stands up, they're on the inside. And then the outside flaps, you want it to be on the outside on all four of them. Okay, so let me get these taken off. We'll start building our box. So then you want to line up the edges. So they're um, not, it's not a funky box. You don't want a funky box. And then the other side. Then I take my color box, chestnut, chestnut um, rune, is that what they call it? And we're going to dab that up. I like to use the color box chalks on my craft card stock because I think it just kind of pops out so good and I just like how it, I don't know, sticks to the craft card stock. I don't know if that's the right word, but... That's what we're going to call it. Okay, and I'm going to do one side the guys and one side the girls to show you how I did it. So, on the guys' side, here's my apple. And I just put the apple on the one end because I didn't, you know, what. The one guy is uh, this president of the bank. He's a. Uh, Superstar from high school sports. 
So, I didn't want to take him something girly. <laughs> and then the other guys, I wanted something simple. So, what I did for the guys one, and I'm not going to attach the handles. I took my shorter of the two pieces, which this is what, nine and a half by two and a half. And I lined up, and I'm going to move this over. <clears throat> I lined it up at two inches and just took a half inch off for the handle. I did this actually on both of them, the boys and the girls. But the guys, I just um, sponged the edges all the way over and on both sides. And then attached it with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. So um, I'll go ahead and do that. And then I can just show you what I did for the chicks one. And I just crisscrossed them. Like this. Do, 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 do. And I just kind of guessed where I wanted my handle. I wanted it high enough up. So, oops, almost did that the wrong way. I wanted it high enough up so the apple and stuff could fit through, but not too high where it looked funky. So then on the girls, oops, let's drop my basket. So we'll switch to this side for the girls. So on the girls, I used the pink rouge color box chalk. I'm going to dip that up. And on the guys, I just did the one side with the uh, chalk. On the girls, I did all four sides and bottoms and everything the edges so and I <coughs> excuse me I don't have the exact same paper I used on theirs but I do um, we'll show you four and there's one other step I don't have out and I thought I had let me get this attached I have a very short memory today so, get this attached on there. So, this is three and a half by three. I might have made it a little too big. But we're going to hook that up on there. And then I used the tattered floral. Okay, it turned out that I was able to find enough burlap that was glued so it'll stay together. So, then put a cup. You might want to put a couple glue dots on it if you're really going to transport it somewhere. And then I just kind of put it high up on there. And then for the girls, I took and I'm out on the girls, I put the ribbon right across the top like this so they loved them um, the one guy his wife sent me a message on Facebook to tell me how much they loved it so but that is a cute little and you could even use this next May for May Day baskets or you know you can put um, change it up for Christmas maybe I'll do one for each month that's a good idea so and I should have done it, I really wanted to do it in some more fall colors, but it, they just weren't, I don't know, they just weren't getting me. So, here's the guy version, and here's the girl version. So, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.